Oh, it's one of those. Say your prayers, pal. Um, they don't go down very well. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Starfield. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and we're following on from last time when we need to speak to the Philborns about the aid shipment for the um. I can't remember what it's called, the low house, that's right. And um, as we walked past someone, they actually said they heard Sarah and her brother arguing. So um, let's give them a knock and see um, what's going on. So yeah, apparently she was arguing pretty heavily we with her brother. We robots for farming. Surely some of that tech we could patent. Probably. Um, if you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere, either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, it's a strange way to say hello, oh, though. Sorry, my nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Fair Henry's enough. the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company. And now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. Fair enough, but I mean, people do have a right to lead their lives the way they want. I see your your point. They could be saving some lives. Well, I wish you were the one I had to convince. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? Um. Look, a mirror wolf down at the low house just wondered what's happening with the with the wheat shipment. Um, let's just see if we can resolve her problem a bit as well. There must be some way to resolve the the problem, the impasse with the foodborne agricultural systems. Well, there is. The stakes are huge. With further R&D on Intelweet, the entire settled systems could benefit. Surely that's worth some less than savory solutions. Oh. Yeah, this is about, this isn't about altruism, is it? Well, I don't know. I mean, look, it's worth saving people. But if you're talking about greed, then maybe not. That's reasonable. Henry's pet project is tied to market perception. His beer, annoyingly, is really good. But if we could make a bad batch, terrible, really, his margins are tight enough, he might be forced to throw in the towel. Right. And what's that going to do? So, we don't want to poison anyone. Oh god, no. I just want it to taste bad. Like, stale, or like it's... Whatever makes beer taste worse. The next big batch of beer is almost done brewing in our factory. You just need to find a way to break in without getting caught by the guard and tamper with it somehow. Then just wait a day or so and see how the batch goes over at the Stone Root Inn. Do that, and I'll pay you handsomely. That's the last I'll talk of this. Okay. And I've just noticed, like, when you're sat next to her, how terrible this texture behind her looks. But we'll it's actually true. ask My her about the wheat. One of the most successful businesses in the Freestar Collective. But I still think we can do better. I got a funny feeling you're going to tell me this IntelliWheat shipment is being used for brewing. Let's find out. I know, we're late. It's been this whole frustrating episode. Short version, the farming equipment outside the walls needs to be manually rebooted. But the guards aren't going to be able to send people to fix it for days. We're committed to helping the unfortunates on the stretch. But the Ashta are just too dangerous for us to send someone. What would it take for me to reboot this? 
You would do that? If you get Maybe. rebooted, I'll get the harvest going ASAP. We can get the wheat to Amira quick. I'll talk with my husband, but I'm sure we could arrange payment. You'd be helping our business too, after all. Just, just be careful. Ashta are very dangerous. How dangerous? I'm slightly concerned. Okay, let's. I'm gonna have to think about this beer situation, but um, let's go and see about rebooting this thing overnight. Maybe is this a good idea to do overnight? Okay, so this gives us a couple of jobs to do. One is to sabotage the beer. Now, run into spacers. I mean, scavengers. Look, you really gone through with it. I, I, I'm a bit I miffed about beer. whether or not to sabotage the beer. Um, but let's be honest. If this ends in feeding a bunch of people and making them money, I've not really got a problem with it. I mean. You know, rather than it just being beer. So we'll we'll go and have a quick squiz. Um okay. What's IBU? I mean I would think it'll taste pretty bad if you because if you increase the temperature by twenty degrees, you're probably gonna kill off all the yeast inside brewing. I don't know what IBU is. I think if you increase alcohol content, it'll be popular. So let's increase the temperature. And see how things turn out. And then we need to reboot the farming equipment, which is out there. But I don't quite know how to get out there. <laughs> That's the problem. How do we get... Ah, there's a door right here. Spending time in hard G is a good workout. I don't need the light. Okay, um... If they open up the gate and go out there, it's on their own head. But if they're far afield, they got no idea what they're in for. You want to warn them? You know I don't like talking to strangers. Then you chose a hell of a profession. Outside is really, really dangerous. You see a danger sign in Akira City? Better know we mean it. Okay. Um, that was an auto save moment, if ever I saw one. Um, I'll close the door, huh? I thought you would probably do it, but I'll close it. Samco, you, you freak me out by how fast you run after me. I mean, these things look cool. There's no two ways about it. These things look awesome. Okay, that's one of those big mech box bots. So that's fine. No big deal. I don't know what these, what, what were they were? Ashtar or whatever they were? Uh, there we go, there's an Ashtar. Oh, it's one of those. Say your prayers, pal. Um, they don't go down very well. Okay. Help. Okay. Change of plan. That hurt. Really? You still knocked down? I missed. I've not got many rounds for this. I'm good. I'm great. Whoa. Those guys mean business. They're not kidding around when they say they're dangerous. So. Don't worry. This gun means business. I can get some accurate headshots in. Okay. So that didn't seem too bad. To get up the machinery, we can reboot the equip equipment from here, right? 
Uh, let's just view the history. Added nitrate supplements. New version. Lots of special behavior. Henry's new field test. Blah, 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 blah. Some test seeds added as per Henry's special project, Brew Seed. So yeah, I reckon it's because he's been naffing around with the equipment. So that was easy enough. That's all sorted. And there is a robot here that is not in a good way. Been beaten up by the Ashtar. Okay. These things are mightily nifty though. I mean, there's no two ways about that. These things look cool. Okay, so that was a relatively uneventful journey to get back inside. Come on, Sam. Get get in the door. There you go. No problem. What else we got? Mission boards. And apparently we are supposed to speak to Annie Wilcox here. I'm not sure what Annie Wilcox is... Uh, Got to do it, you little kiddo. What's up, Annie? I'm Annie Wilcox. You're new in town, aren't you? That means I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, kid. Is it? Or are Not you really. just saying that? See, I work for the Freestar Rangers. I'm the first ever Ranger Surveillance Assistant. And that's not some dumb made up title. Ranger Emma Wilcox gave it to me. So it's official. Okay, you must be pretty good to earn, earn a title like that. Is Emma your mother? That's right. She's a senior ranger. Which yeah, means she's in met. charge of me and all the other rangers. Well, except Diego. Because he's a senior ranger too. Oh, and the marshal. He's in charge of all the rangers. Yeah, you better be pretty good to earn a title like that, kiddo. I'm the best ranger surveillance assistant that ever lived someday i'll teach other kids the tricks of the trade gotta prepare the next generation because i won't be here forever so what's it gonna be are you gonna be a law-abiding citizen or are you gonna be on my list <laughs> i'll plan it to cause any trouble if um, that's what you're asking that's the right answer i just hope you mean it Aquila City is just crawling with crime. It's everywhere. And it's up to us rangers to do something about it. And ranger surveillance assistants. Someone's stealing guns and stuff from the Raid Alarms. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, you know, you can help us break it all open. If there's a criminal, I'll help you. But I'm not being set up. Emily was right about you. I was doing my ranger patrol one night, and there was a suspicious character casing Laredo arms. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. <laughs> First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Sneed, and he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a... A coincidence. Do you have any proof? I've checked back regularly with Mr. Sneed. Well, up until he told me I'm trespassing. And he said their new inventory system keeps, um, hiccuping. But it's no hiccup. It's robbery. This case was too big for just one ranger. So I deputized Emily. I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. Hmm? Or, um something like that and we found out that the thief breaks in most nights but like really late he's got his own key card we just need to catch him security will believe you i'll see what You're i can do aquila city a big service best i figure he's there around midnight you need to wait from the exit laredo then catch him red-handed we need to bring him to justice I try not to shoot him in the head. Every night. 
but I've seen it I don't know if you cottoned on the assistant ranger surveillance assistant abbreviation <laughs> which I thought was quite funny <laughs> um okay so well if we happen to get there around midnight we'll we'll check it out but um it's not going to be like high priority what do we got we got Del David Wilson, Mr. Tate, Jacob. Everything is just like names. Speak to this person, speak to this person. I have no idea what I'm doing almost. Um, the House of Enlightenment. What is in that? Let's check out the Constellation Mission Board. Okay. I'm not going to go in the House of Enlightenment just yet. I'm not ready for a religious experience just yet. But we'll see what we've got going on. I don't even know where Laredo's guns is, mind. I mean, why is this area so kind of blocked off? I'm going to tell them how it's I'm kind of questionable, isn't it? I mean, we're, right, so well, this is heading back down. Okay. That's the rock we'll over there, yeah? Okay. So, that's my ship over there. That's the hitching post, that's Shepherd's. That's Roland's arms. Chunks, which, you know, the place I would support the most is the place I don't see a chunks. So, um, what else have we got here? This is Midtown. Sinclair Books. I have never seen a bookshop. Could I get the digital copy of the things I buy here? No. What? Why not? I sell books. Physical books. Space is a premium on my ship. I'm if sorry, I could do you download buy them from books? my slate, I could have a whole library. There are places you can go for that, ma'am. Just not my shop. Good day. Wait, can't we... We're done here. Uh, Why you're clearly so into books. About digital books. I pick up a lot of books. I'm not sure I have any on me right now. Well, I have the original Kila City Charter. To read. This is a haven for all that love letters. Okay, let's go. Ever find an old Earth printing of City of God? I have been looking for it for ages. I'll keep my eye out. I do see a lot of books. You really like the books. Movies, slates, theater. All have their appeal, but books, you can get a window to mankind in its earliest days. Whether adventure with Homer, or the actual thoughts of Julius Caesar penned in his own hand. And they offer visions of the future and wonderfully impossible things and might have been. So, yeah, I do like books. That's okay. And you run this bookstore yourself? Yes. I had a husband, but... He's no longer with us. We loved to travel, and always we'd be looking for rare books. Most of what you see here are mementos. It's sometimes hard to sell, but books are not meant to be hoarded. They're meant to be shared and spark something in us. Or stolen. Um, are there any books you're particularly looking for? I am a bit of an aficionado of old Earth novels. Well, truth be told, it's more of an obsession. <laughs> Reading their stories is a revelation, not only for, you know, the pure imagination, but the window you get into long gone historical eras. I'll pay handsomely for any books you find like that. Except Charles Dickens. Definitely not Charles Dickens. Yeah, there's a lot of Dickens around. Uh, what's wrong with Dickens? Oh, oh, nothing wrong at all. When colonists were forced to leave Earth I for good, Charles cargo Dickens. space was precious, and for some reason, everyone thought to bring their Charles Dickens collection. No, no, I mean, I mean, he was an amazing writer. His stories are timeless. But what I give for a copy of Sense and Sensibility, or the Three Musketeers? Oh, the original Three Musketeers, mind you, not the dozens of interpretations of it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say that. Well, I feel the same oh, way about it. a good book, but I'll be honest, I'm an audiobook guy myself. 
if I have any books for your old Earth collection, I'll I'll sell them to you. Oh, I'm afraid there's nothing you have that I don't already have. Sorry. Okay, no no worries. What do you have for sale? Certainly. Let's just see what she has. Hmm. Quite a lot of interesting little books. Okay. I'll bring any books I find here and we'll see what happens. She clearly has an interest for books. So we may as well check it out. I don't know who all these people are I'm, I, I'm supposed to speak to. It's kind of weird. Stonefoot Inn. That's the one selling the beer that we've just hopefully correctly sabotaged. I mean, I think I've sabotaged it correctly. From my knowledge of beer brewing, you do not want it to get that warm. So it should taste like crap. I can't go Amira. into the, we don't get that wheat shipment soon. The that wheat shipment good, is sorted out. News. Uh, what was the hold up anyway? Um I had I had to uh reboot the computers. Yeah, I think what's important is that Sarah still wants to help. It's good to know the Philburns are still faithful to the cause. I hate to ask it, but I do need more help. Really? Everything runs on charity. And our benefactors, though kind, I think sometimes... Well, get sick of seeing me. A new face may ease up the purse strings. Or at least save me some errands. Okay, so you want me to go around and collect money for you? It's touch and go sometimes. Pests are too much and they could turn their back on the project. Too little and people suffer. So the mayor, Elias Cartwright, has always been generous to us, but it's been a while since he's donated. Raisha Lance is a huge benefactor. Laredo Firearms has been vital for us. Both of those are routine, more polite reminders, really. The last is a long shot, probably futile, but the Trade Authority is incredibly wealthy, and they have never ever donated to us. Yeah, good if luck with that. If you convince Duncan Lynch to give us anything, heck, a single credit even, I'd consider it a victory. I'll see what I can you do. You a breath of fresh air. Once you're done with that, come back to me. Sure. I will, um... Thank you for your time. I'll reserve my next donation for a little while yet. Um, are you? Pharaoh what Light are is doing you, some by the way? Really exciting things with holograms. They're incredible. Your right. honest Earl. About that. They showed it off at the expo, right? I have yeah, no idea where Laredo's is, but this might actually yes, take I, me I, to I, Laredo's I, firearms, which might actually be a good thing because I'm assuming it's getting fairly late by now. Sadly, there's no way to tell the time here, I don't think. Um, oh no, it does. Local time is is 4 a.m. So I've kind of missed um, catching whatever is going on at Laredo's Firearms. But we'll, we'll have a look. We'll go over and we'll see. I mean, the fact that it's 4 a.m., there are a lot of people still walking around. Do people not sleep here? I guess the difference with things like UT and stuff like that do cause differences and make it a bit weird. The kids to your brother's place. I mean, this could take me over to Laredo Firearms and at least to figure out where the hell it is. Because I am nice struggling job. to get to know this city. Right, so we're back over here. Near Chunks, near the hitching Shutter's post, past Galabank. Yes, so what part of the... Right, so you're the trade authority right there, which is good to know. But, okay, you're Laredo Firearms. There doesn't seem to be... I mean, you're open, which is odd. There's not enough to do around here. 
I mean. So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. Why don't we just close it down? It's not like it gets much use. I need some place to put the prototypes through their paces. It stays. But you know, stretch trash will come back and loiter. Or worse. Let them. A few beer bottles and graffiti is the least we owe them. Yes, Miss Lance. Okay. That feels like that's related. I think you'll find that we carry fine weapons of all kinds here. Okay. Your weapons are made here? Indeed. As a matter of fact, they're made in this very building. You're standing in the storefront of the Laredo Firearms Factory. I designed and manufactured every firearm for sale here. As such, I can offer you my personal assurance they're of the highest quality. Okay. And you're the owner? When a CEO distances herself from the customers, her decision-making suffers. Here That's I get to see true. what matters, what sells, what doesn't, and why. It's invaluable. Plus, it's better than the endless meetings. Okay. Um, look, I'm sorry to pass to you, but um, the low house has sort of asked me to drop by and see if you are willing to make a donation. Oh, so Amira has some help? Good. She's going to work herself into an early grave if she's not careful. Laredo Firearms prides itself in helping out all the residents of Aquila City. I'll send Justin over to deliver our monthly donation. It's very kind of you. Your donation you is greatly appreciated. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um. Yeah, I'd like to see right a away. selection for now. There's nothing there com particularly exciting. Just what here have for you got to say? Please move along. Okay. I, I think you'll find curious. that we carry fine weapons of all kinds here. I'm gonna when a CEO ask, ask this again. Yourself, here I get to see. Plus, it's better than the endless meetings. I'm just gonna see if there's anything else Thank that came up there by. then. But, um. I am somewhat suspicious that there is. There's more to that than, than you would think. Miss Lance is the one you want to speak to. You, meet all you know, sorts I feel of like there's a little bit more to the gun gets a full to guarantee. the story so far. But uh, all right, stand clear. What's back here? This is storage. So, did you mention a range? I mean, I don't want to like break in. There's there's a restroom here. Okay, that's fine. But I don't see anything untoward. I mean, I don't really want to, you know, nose, nose around our place too much. Employees only. I am now technically trespassing. There's a jack. Not quite sure what that's all about. The sales floor is downstairs. Uh, Laredo employee. Okay. If you're okay. looking to browse, you're in the wrong spot. Okay, no worries. Apologies, not meaning. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not quite ready to break in yet. I do get the the feeling something smells fishy, but I'm not quite quite ready to start breaking into this place just yet. I mean, is there anything a consequence down here? This is a locked door as well. And this goes out to Aquila City. Hmm. There's some interesting noise going on behind there. There's a security door there that's actually blocked off. Okay. No, oh, there's a shooting range back here. I see, like they mentioned, there is indeed a shooting range. Right here. So yeah, I mean they were complaining about the graffiti, but we got to pay Russia anything? 
No, as long as you clean sector. up after well, yourself. That's where she real money's mind. at. That's awfully kind of her. Mrs. Lance is a killer through and through. Nice grouping on that last one. Yeah, the site was off and to the left. I dialed it in good. Same time next week? You know it. Mm. Nice weapons you look there. Like you know your way around the handgun. Um, I know my way around a laser better. But I'm not seeing anything fishy here so far. I mean, I don't know if the kid's just... just off the mark. That is quite possible. Simple fall ain't so simple in high gravity. Apprehend the thief. Well, okay. But it's midnight, so... At the moment it is 5am local. So we should really get some sleep. Maybe we can find somewhere to get some board. And then we can actually get some sleep. Um, there's a donation there from Elias. Let's uh, head up there. See if we can sort of just catch him. He's passing along. Is there somewhere I can get room and board, or do Here I need to just head back to my ship? Because I am tempted to, you know, I could just head back to my ship and keep there for the night. I'm just saying, my family was on the first ship. Proper founders. Okay, I think that's, you know, over egging it. Never ever go outside the city walls after sundown. Ashta are more aggressive at night. Too late, already done it. I just know Annie's gonna be a ranger one day, just like her mom. Okay. Elias! Well done, well done indeed. Yes. Uh, you're talking oh, about the bank, the yes? Of the day. Ah, you were there. I do remember seeing you. Your, 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 your thing top is very reckoning. Sure you're not descended reckoning. from Solomon Co? Uh, no, but I know Sam. And apparently I can't ask you anything. Good to meet you, friend. Oh, Name's now you're going to kick in. Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, thanks. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. Yeah, I'm feeling that a bit. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. And that's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. Okay, um, tell me about the core. The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Okay. And, I mean, the hitch I've seen, I can get a drink there. You've got a few choices there. The cantina in the rock is famed throughout the settled systems for serving right, the yeah. best brew that credits can buy. The hitching post ain't been open long, but most folks seem to like it. If you're looking for a quick drink before moving on, give it a try. Aggie's is a bit of an acquired taste, you might say. Folks who prefer a venue that's a little more rough and tumble tend to feel at home there. Like I said, lots of options. Okay. And we know why we need a wall. The tall building in the center of town is the rock, right? Ah, you must be referring to the rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, 
I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. Um, okay. And what about Midtown? Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. Yeah. And tell me about your Frank Langston and your problem. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hersenove Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hosono family ran out of heirs. There's an old wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to right for decades. And hence, well, I need help. Well, I'm a bit confused about that. I have no idea what, what the issue is. So what's wrong with Frank Lanson? He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack. Full of himself and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. Yeah, oh, that's a bit up your arse, if you don't mind me saying, but... You know. Well, I might do something about it if there's credits in of it. Of course, of course. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. Built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. Yeah, well, that sounds pretty rough. But, uh, yeah. Sounds like she went on her own terms. A lot of folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, oh, brave crap. the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Aquila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. Okay. Yeah, how will finding her will change? Well, I know how finding her will will change something. All right, let me know where to go. Sahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, Please just don't go. I, I can don't handle want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful and look out for yourself. Oh, I, I've met some Ashta. I'm I'm okay. Um, what? Like I said, what about donations, careful. please? I'd rather you forget the whole Hasanov business rather than getting hurt. Um, how about a donation for the low house? What day is it? Oh shoot, I forgot. I'll send over my usual monthly donation to Amira. She truly is a wonder. And with the building project her and Mr. Tate are planning, there may be a day when the stretch is a distant memory. Um. It's sad that the stretch survives on on such poultry handouts. Yeah, that's true. Is the donation from the government or you personally? Well, from me. Unlike the UC, we don't tax our people to death. The city's budget is very tight, so it forces the community to look after its own. Okay. Well, the low house I'll appreciates talk to Amira it. Later. I didn't mean to cause any problems. Between thwarting bank robberies and helping the stretch, you have the city's thanks. Truly. Well, sounds like I'm uh, making uh, friends a here. Wonderful visit. And to be fair, I am liking you guys quite a bit as well. Um. As we're passing by apparently Jacob's house and it's morning, let's pop in on Jacob as it seems like this is where we're supposed to go with Sam Co. Aha! Well, well. Sam Co. finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And you, what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. 
Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Yeah, I can let Sam fight this out. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. You need something? Phew. Wow. That was... That was warm. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. Um, uh, can Cora actually help with this? I know you're not going to like this. No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. Okay, she's, she's your daughter, man. I'd appreciate that. Um. You need a minute or do you want to talk about what just happened? I'd, I'd like to understand the situation better. No, I don't. It's just... It's been a while, but this is how it goes. Every time. Okay. So, what if I spoke to him? You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but alright. I hope you like arguing. Well... I'm gonna try to persuade, for one. But, um... I don't fancy my chances. I so should have taken that persuasion. <laughs> I am kicking myself I did not take that persuasion. Because... So far... I would have had a lot more use for the persuasion. What do you want, Constellation? Ooh. Can we be reasonable? I mean, these maps could be important. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. I agree. But, um, you know, we really just do want to follow up on Solomon's work. You really believe that, don't you? I do. And Sam's your son. He wants to do this. Surely you want to help him. You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the Yay! maps. They're in the other room here. Key. Okay. Well, I uh, I wasn't expecting that to go so well. We got the maps, my man. There we go. That went better than I thought. Let's not steal this plushie. As tempting as that is. Okay, Sam. We're good. We're good. All right. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. And that is where we're going to leave it. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time when we find out what the problem is. Thanks a lot.